Good morning everyone, hope you're all doing well. Sorry my sister's still asleep next door so I'm trying to be quiet. It's officially Easter today for me so happy Easter a day late like for you watching this. It's currently, I think it's nearly nine and I've just pretty much got, had a bit more of a lion today which is good, got up about quarter to nine I woke up. And oh, it's also the 1st of April which means it's April Fool's Day. I wonder if anyone's she remembered about April Fool's Day as it's Easter. I wonder if people will actually, maybe people will do like Easter jokes or pranks or something. Let me know if you did anything for April Fool's Day or if you pulled any pranks on anyone or what you did. I'm gonna go change my calendar now while I'm thinking about it because if not it always gets halfway through to the month and my calendar's still on the wrong day. So let's change this up onto April. Is that April? Oh yeah, I was covering it with my finger hang on i need to do this with both hands <laughs> there we go my calendar's officially on april oh hang on i've got oh no i dropped shoes everywhere now um <laughs> i just knocked them all off the shoe rack oh i'll sort that in a sec i've got this one here that needs to get changed as well there we go it says april showers no rain no flowers oh that's quite a cute quote i like that one. Ooh, i can see easter eggs down here not gonna start with the easter eggs though till everyone's up and about because i feel like that's not fair if i start on them now i think for breakfast tomorrow i'm gonna make myself an acai bowl kickstart the day with a big bowl of fruity goodness before all the chocolate kicks in mum bought herself a massive <laughs> egg oh are the eggs now in the fridge <laughs> oh okay <laughs> That's the egg, and it came with three flakes as well. Finished making my side bowl. So in here, oh, the microwave's been pinned in, and my mum must be doing something there. In here, well, for the side bowl, I used uh, one and a half frozen bananas, a tablespoon of um, acai powder, and then some frozen mixed berries, which I've then mixed with a bit of water and almond milk. Then over here, I've got some goji berries and pumpkin seeds, some chia seeds, blueberries and strawberries, and then a little bit of my homemade almond butter and pumpkin seed granola. This I am excited to dig into. So I've been told apparently there's some little Easter eggs hidden, like cream eggs and stuff hidden around. So we're gonna do an Easter egg hunt, although I'm gonna wait for my sister to get up, she's not up quite yet. So of course, gotta do that with her. Although I've just spotted one now over there hiding in the candle. My mum's like, had to hide them well away from the dogs. And this is literally something that we've done ever since me and my sister were younger. Every year we've done an Easter egg hunt. And I wasn't sure if we still were doing them or not, but apparently we have got one and there's 16 eggs to find, which is quite a lot, so could take quite a while but yeah like i said gotta wait for my sister to get up to do that and then i'll also show you the easter egg and stuff that i got because i don't really want to properly like look at it and start on my easter egg and stuff until everyone's up well i mean both my mum and my dad are up although they're currently upstairs so go do it when everyone's down here and everyone's around i've just been sorting out this bag that i got yesterday from the market which is like a copy of a louis vuitton one and they even put a little envelope in the pocket inside with like a little fake Louis Vuitton card and it with some French on the back but it doesn't really make sense and there's not spaces between certain words and stuff and accents and things are missing but it's so funny like the extreme they've gone to to make it look as real as possible. Finally about to do our Easter egg hunt although I've already found this one earlier I spotted this one so I did leave it there though I can't oh I can't get it out of here hang on my hand's stuck in the candle have you found one lads? Oh, you found two? Yeah, don't put them where the dog Let's put them there. Out the way of the dog. Have they made these smaller? They feel smaller. Yeah. I think that was the thing last year, wasn't it? They made them smaller. They they made their like cream six. eggs smaller. There's only five. Oh. Yeah. They used to be six. I think so. They used to be six. Okay, so we've got <laughs> ten cream eggs and then, what is it? How many were there? Six caramels. And showing over here. Your egg, then. Uh, I can't open this with one hand. I'm thinking there might be one inside the Russian doll. We found another one. Oh no, okay, there's just another Russian doll inside the Russian doll, which means probably in one of those Russian dolls over there. <laughs> They're probably. You found another two? You just find them all in pairs? Hang on, let's see if in one of these Russian dolls over here then. I'm guessing this one is that was where the little ones are from. Found another cream egg, there was one in the Russian doll. Just wondering if maybe we'll find a white cream egg. I don't know if they've all been found yet or not. Is a white one? No, I don't know. If we, I mean, we could potentially get a white one, but I don't know if they've all been found or not. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. We've got 
Well, so far four more to go, but struggling now. We're struggling to find the last three, although I think I've just found another one hidden in this glasses case. If I can get it out, yes, there we go. Another cream egg, so we're now missing one cream egg. Um, no, two caramel eggs is what we're missing now. Apart from that, yeah, because we've got all the cream eggs. So two more caramel eggs we need to find. Found one more, so now we're currently missing one. This happens every single year. We always manage to find m the majority of them pretty quickly, and then it gets down to the last couple, and it becomes impossible. But we found all of them except one caramel egg now, so... I don't know where else to look, and I don't know where my sister's looked as well. She's kind of given up and gone outside, but I don't know where the last one could be. And my mum can't remember where she might put it either. We're still struggling to find the last one and can't see where it's got to. But in terms of my actual egg, I got this one this year, which is the Booja Booja Hazelnut Crunch one. No bubs, it's not for you. And then also a bag of mini eggs, which of course are just a classic Easter treat. But this I'm so excited to try because I've been wanting to try that ice cream actually for a long time. But of course my mum couldn't bring that back from England, but she did get me one of the Booja Booja chocolate eggs to have. And it's so pretty as well, like the packaging on this, it's been hand painted. I'm definitely going to keep this, like, you can't get rid of that packaging, it's so it's so pretty. And their truffles are supposed to be really nice as well, so I can't wait to try the egg, and then also one of the truffles inside as well. And they're the, yeah, it's the hazelnut crunch flavour, which just sounds incredible. And this chocolate as well is also dairy-free, organic, gluten and soya-free as well. It's sort of like a healthier twist on a chocolate egg. So yeah, it's 100% vegan too, but it just looks so tasty and sounds amazing. Yeah, we it. found it! It was another <laughs> cream egg in the end actually, <laughs> and it was in <laughs> this straw down here, but at least we've got them all now. I may have just gone through the cream eggs having a little sneaky look inside each one very carefully and wrapping them back up to see if there was any white ones. I don't know if there's still any white ones around or not, but it doesn't look like we've got any, although I got a bit confused which one I'd already checked and not. I think I've checked them all now, but yeah, sadly it doesn't look like we've got a white one. I'm going to try and open this up though now and see what this is like inside instead. I feel so bad destroying this packaging, it just looks too pretty to pull apart, but it's literally like a little Russian doll. Oh look, it's even got velvet on the inside. Mm. How fancy is that? And then we've got the little truffles. Ooh, these look fancy. You get a pretty big bag of truffles in it. Oh, they smell amazing. I've just opened it up. I'm gonna take one and give one a try. Oh my God, they look so good. This honestly smells so good. Here we go, first taste test. That is so nice. It reminds me of, oh, it reminds me of something. I can't think what it is, but it's so tasty. Although I've just done my teeth, which isn't probably a good idea to then directly eat chocolate afterwards, but. Mm, the center is like really smooth and creamy. And considering there's no like dairy or anything in there, that's so good. I was just reading about like the story of this egg and it's quite cool so it's originally painted by this small team of artists in somewhere in india i think it was Kashmir, and then the chocolate truffles inside are handmade by a team in norfolk which is quite cool quite like that so each egg has been hand painted and crafted in india which is pretty amazing i'm finally all dressed and ready for the day and it's currently i looked up there again at that clock it's broken i think it's about 22 now already and i finally got all dressed i don't really know where the morning's gone because i mean someone comes up that late i got up what time even was it like nine ish is it nine no it was earlier than that i actually can't remember i think it was just before nine i honestly don't even know but i've been up like fairly early at a decent time at least and the morning's just disappeared like it's nearly two o'clock already but i finally got dressed done my makeup sorted out my hair and we are gonna head out soon probably about half an hour i think we've got a table booked at half two for lunch along the seafront which will be nice we're gonna head out for lunch go get a sunday roast and we're actually going to a restaurant that we've never been to before so it'll be interesting to see what it's like we've not been there for just like their general weekly food or their sunday roast before so we thought we might as well try somewhere different on easter sunday give it a go why not and it's also along the seafront which will be nice as it is nice weather although to be fair, there's quite a bit of cloud around, so the sun kind of keeps coming and going. And around here right now, it's 
pretty windy, like very windy. I don't know how much you'll be able to see that tree moving or not on camera, but yeah, it's pretty windy right now. And yesterday around was kind of fine, but then we went down to the seafront for lunch. It was quite windy down there. And I mean, if it's this windy around here by the seafront, it's probably gonna be pretty crazy with the wind, but hopefully it'll still be nice. I mean, in the sun, it's probably still quite warm as well. So hopefully it'll be a nice lunch. Hopefully it'll be tasty and will be a good lunch. I'm starting to get quite hungry now as well, but I don't really want to eat anything if we're gonna head out in like half an hour, you know, I want to save myself for the roast. So, hopefully it'll be a good roast because it'll be kind of disappointing now if it's not a good one that's there. But, yeah, be nice to try somewhere a bit different as well. And head out soon. I'm feeling sleepy again though now. Whew. But anyway, yeah, that is the plan for today. I don't think, I don't really know what we're doing this afternoon. We've got lunch booked and then might have a walk along the seafront and then maybe I don't really know what else just sort of have a chilled Easter afternoon everyone together kind of thing probably might sit out in the garden for a bit as well at some point and make the most of the sun and sunny weather because I am actually on Wednesday I'm traveling to London I don't know if I've mentioned this in vlog or not probably a little while ago that actually because on Thursday it's actually big beauty day out which is happening in London and I bought my ticket when it first came on sale, which is exciting. It's come around so fast. Honestly, when I bought my ticket, it was a few months away and it just seemed like it was ages away. And it's literally just come around like that. I can't believe it's only in a few days time. I mean, it's only four, yeah, four days away. So if you watch this, it's only three days away. Let me know if you're going down below in the comments. Be lovely to meet some people there as well, because I'm just going there by myself. So if you are going, then do let me know. I have got a meet and greet with Saffron at half 12, I think. And then there's also gonna be loads of other creators walking around, which hopefully I'll get to meet. And then there's also the brands there. And the first initial brands that it announced are all ones that I love. So it was NYX, Benefit, and The Body Shop. I think now there's also gonna be Maybelline there. Um, and then there's a couple of others. I think Holler and Glow might be there too. So it should be quite a fun day. I'll definitely be vlogging it. So be sure to check out that vlog. That will be going up probably on Friday or if not next weekend then for sure as I will be I'm literally in a like fly by on a fly by visit to London so I fly out there Wednesday but I've got quite an early flight so then I've got I think by the time I land it'll be like one or something like that so then I'll still have half the day in London which will be nice then I've got the event all day Thursday I think it ends at like five-ish and starts about 11 so it doesn't start too early which is good but then yes yeah, most of the day so I'll be at that and then I fly back Friday but I don't think I fly back till some point in the afternoon I think my flights are like four half four something like that so I at least get the Monday uh, the morning in London I did that on purpose with it just being such a short trip I thought I might as well make the most of it because I thought then I'd be at work on Saturday but I don't actually start back at work till the next Saturday so I could have spent a bit of the weekend in London as well but oh well it doesn't matter and I looked into changing my flight but it was going to cost like £60 or something so I thought nah you know what it's fine I go to London often enough anyway I don't need to spend another £60 on changing my ticket so that's fine but Big Beauty Day Out should hopefully be a really good day it's a new event as well so I don't really know what to expect kind of like summer in city but with bigger focus on beauty brands as well and they've got a little fairground area and there's loads of like street food stalls and stuff so i'm really hoping it's going to be a really nice day out there and yeah that's very exciting literally can't believe how close it is but what else was i gonna say i don't know but i'm gonna go down now and see what the plan is hopefully we'll be leaving for lunch soon because i'm hungry we're heading out now for our roast lunch. Also, we're just about to say our curry. It's not a Friday night. For our roast lunch, and it's a lovely day out. I've got a bit of Drake on in the background right now. But yeah, hopefully it will be really nice down there. I'm thinking it's probably going to be pretty busy too, but hopefully not too many people around. <laughs> Mum's got a lovely strawberry milkshake going on, it looks very fancy. And Lid's coffee looks pretty fancy too. Got all our little sauces as well, I think I've figured out what they are. Oh wow, our roast has just arrived and look at the size of that yogurt. Got roast beef today, it looks tasty. Been back home about half an hour or so since going out for lunch, but we're now just going to go and take puppies out for a walk because it's a really nice afternoon and they're starting to get 
bit into a crazy mood like they normally do at this kind of time. Oh, something. My phone just randomly started playing music. I don't know how that happened. But, yeah. Um, have you got a key to lock the door? <laughs> okay. Have you got a house key on you? She <laughs> don't want to get locked out. So it's quite blurry. Don't want the door to just slam shut and the door get locked out. Like I did a few weekends ago. Actually, it was probably a couple of months ago. Let me know if you saw that vlog or not. But I was locked out of the house for about a good two, three hours while my parents were still out having lunch with their friends. <laughs> But, should be a really nice walk out. It's already half four because we ended up going out for quite a late lunch, so it's quite late already. Hello, little pups. You're always up there ready to go for your walks, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I keep forgetting my sunglasses and it's so bright out. Oh, it's that before when we were going out for lunch on seafront, I meant to take my sunglasses because it was very sunny out there. I meant to go grab them now before coming out here. I forgot again, so I'm kind of squinting. Because probably means I'll get wrinkles, but <laughs> hopefully I'll be alright. Actually, to be fair, the clouds keep helping to cover the sun a bit, but it's still pretty bright. Currently trying to get up a massive hilly bit, which is very rocky. Also got my like little vans on. Normally wear my big boots to come out on these walks because very rocky and like slippy everywhere, and these really don't have good grip. So I might end up falling over as well at some point, which wouldn't be too great. Although it's a bit blowy, I don't really want to get blown off. Oh yeah, and you can see all the sea and everything. You having a good explore, guys? Mm, what can you find? Something that I was sniffing out. Mm. <laughs> what can you guys smell? I was really wanting to do some Easter baking because I feel like when it's Easter you've just got to do some kind of baking and there's like recently I've just been so back into baking and I wanted to make this peach and raspberry tart although we don't have peaches so I would just make it as a raspberry tart from Livia's Kitchen it's on her blog and I was just looking at the ingredients now I don't think we've got enough coconut oil though so I might try and make it but I might half the ingredients and just make a smaller one maybe I don't know I might try that instead because also maple syrup you need quite a lot of so yeah I might half the ingredients and see if I can make a smaller one just in this little tray here I'll also try and leave a link to this recipe down below in case you've now seen it and you're really wanting to make it I'll be sure to try and remember to do that if not it's on Livia's Kitchen's blog if I forget to leave a link so I've got my oat base mixture here done I'm just going to pop it into this tray I've just lightly greased this with coconut oil it doesn't say to grease the tray at all but I feel like it could potentially stick so just to be on the safe side there you go that was like the perfect amount of mixture for this size tin and now I'm going to pop it in the oven originally it says for 20 minutes but as I've used half the mixture I might do like 10-15 minutes so my tart case has just started to bake a little bit now so I've got that out because it's just started to colour and then I've just made up the sweet almond filling which I'm going to pop in now and then I think I pop the raspberries back on top before then putting it back into the oven. And there's my raspberry tart ready to go back into the oven. It says for another 20 minutes, so again, I'll just do another 10, 15 minutes. I've also just drizzled over some maple syrup over the raspberries to help sweeten them a little bit. And my tart is looking done. I'm happy with how that's turned out. It's looking, smelling good. Hopefully it'll taste good. I'll give it a taste test later on. I'm kind of wishing I'd put the tart now in some parchment paper so that I could have just pulled it out and like got it nicely presented on a plate and taken some photos of it, but that's not gonna happen now. Oh well, I'll just have to take photos of it in this because I don't think I'll manage to get it out in one piece if I tried. We'll just have to cut it and eat it out of here. But I'm also now just making up some falafels as I really felt like having some falafel and hummus for dinner followed by a bit of that tart afterwards. So I've currently got, I'm making the red lentil and carrot ones. So I've got my carrot steam in there, got my red lentils there which are pretty much done now. They can probably be turned off actually. They need another couple of minutes and then I can turn those off. And yeah, then over here I've got my spices mixed in the bottom of the Nutribullet ready. Then I'll add the lentil and carrots, blend that up. Then I'm going to add in a bit of flaxseed. The spices I've got in here are cumin, coriander and turmeric. And then a bit of baking powder and salt and pepper. Then I'm going to add in some flaxseed. And I think that is everything then. I'm just going to mix that all together and then put it in the oven for around 20 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes. It's the recipe that I used before from the Naturally 
Nina website, it's her blog. Again, I'll try to link the recipe down below so that you can actually get the full ingredients and quantities and stuff. But yeah, it's from her website, so you can check that out if you want to know how to make it. I made them, oh, I can't remember when it was, quite a few weeks ago. But I decided that I want to make some more again, but I've just used like a quarter of the original ingredients as I'm going away in a couple of days. I didn't want to make a massive batch and have loads left. So I've made enough that will probably last for like two portions maybe. I don't know if my sister wants them because I think she quite likes falafel as well. So I'll see if she wants any too. But yeah, the lentils are looking more or less done. So that will be ready to go into the oven very soon. My falafels are all done now. I'll probably have a couple of these, and then I've got my I've got some kale boiling up over here, and then I'm also going to put in a little bit of spinach towards the end of that finishing, so that it just wilts. And then I've got some cucumber chopped up as well, and I'm going to grab some hummus out the fridge too. So I've had my dinner now, and I'm going to try out a little bit of the raspberry tart now. Hopefully. It will taste good. I actually managed to get it out pretty easily. It didn't all stick to the pan like I thought it might. So let's give this a little taste test. Mm, that is pretty good. Oh, I like the almonds coming through. That is nice. We're about to get cozy on the sofa now and watch Hop, actually. I know it's kids' fun, but it was on TV earlier, though. And I was going to watch it then, but then I got carried away with baking and stuff. And I was thinking, oh, I can watch it on Plus One, but I still just got busy with cooking the falafel and stuff then. So I never got around to actually watching it. And I thought it's such a nice Easter-y kind of film to watch. But I've never actually seen it before, so I'm now like, I really want to watch it. And I love a good kids film as well. So definitely feel like I should watch it. And it's definitely fitting for this time of year. So I think we're going to watch that now. Watch it on like catch up or over the internet or whatever and get cozy on the sofa i'm just gonna make myself a cup of green tea just put the kettle on and then i think i'll probably get to sleep because by the time that ends i mean it's currently nearly nine so yeah by the time that ends i'm probably gonna head up and get to sleep so i think i might end this vlog here i hope you enjoyed today's vlog be sure to smash the thumbs up if you did click the little red subscribe button down below if you're new yesterday for you watching this a new main channel video went live head over to my main channel check that video out show it some love link will be down below i hope you had a lovely easter day yesterday let me know what you got up to like i said earlier what chocolate eggs you got what your favorite chocolate eggs are how you spent the day i hope you had a lovely day with family or friends whoever you were with and i'll be sure to see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog night